Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex from a &W Tractor here for another instructional video. Today we are going to be demonstrating uh, how to disassemble, reseal, and reassemble the Alice Chalmers loader cylinders used on the 400, 500 series loaders. We sell seal kits so we thought we'd offer an uh, instructional video on how to install the seal kits. So. Uh, here we have a cylinder that has already been cleaned up. All the dirt, grime, and grease is already off of it. I'd highly recommend doing that as the first step. It uh, just makes the job a lot easier. Some people like leaving these cylinders on the loaders to do them. I personally don't. I do a little more in-depth um, reseal than what you can usually do on a tractor. After it's off and after it's cleaned up, first thing to do is attach the cylinder. Um, some people will just grab them in a vise. If you do that method, don't crank the vise too hard, otherwise you risk crushing the barrel onto the piston or rod inside. So to disassemble this, um, you're going to need some sort of customized wrench um, to turn the nut off the end. And I made one here out of some square tube and some round stock. Um, what you uh, need to accomplish is to grab these two grooves in the nuts with the wrench to turn the nut out, which I'll demonstrate shortly here. So I'm going to attach the <coughs> cylinder to what's called an arbor press. just so it doesn't slop around and then I will be backing off of the nut with the special wrench here you can see how the wrench engages in the slots and I'll hold pressure on it to turn it loose sometimes it'll turn out by hand after it's loose this one is turning out real nice And there we have it. So first thing off the bat, just an observation, we had a little bit of, um, the camera can zoom in on this, what appears to be some rubber seal, um, O-ring piece maybe? Anyway, uh, we'll get into that here in a little bit after I disassemble the cylinder. So once you got the nut off, uh, it should be fairly easy after that. <coughs> Some of them will come apart hard. This one I think is going to be hard. Wow. So after this nut is loose, the cylinder should um, should pull right out. Um, you might have to add a little force like I did have to, but uh, the more worn out the seal kit is, uh, the easier it should slide apart. So I would expect this one to be, the seal should be intact because it's coming apart a little hard. Very careful uh, once the, uh, the steel bushing starts coming out here because the piston is going to come out suddenly at the end there. And there it is. So this is what the inside of the loader cylinder rod looks like. You can see right here um, we have remnants of some o-ring or some sort of seal here. Look at that. 
that is not supposed to look like that. So there's the two wear rings um, on each end that hold the two-piece piston in place with the V-ring packings in the middle. So um, after you have these apart, make, make very sure that the chrome rod does not get dinged or bumped into any metal. I'm going to uh, just leave this barrel here for now. Now uh, <clears throat> we'll separate into two halves the rod and the barrel. The rod I'll set off to the side here for a little bit. So we'll take care of the barrel first and uh, <clears throat> gonna want to look inside to make sure there's no gouges, no um, real big scoring marks in there for maybe a piece of piston or a chunk of metal got in there for some reason and uh, if it is really bad uh, it's pretty much going to be to the point of uh, buying a new barrel unfortunately but um, this one looks pretty good nice and smooth um, no no big scoring or anything like that so before the new seals get installed, um, what I like to do is just run a, run a bead hone through the barrel. This is a proper size bead hone. We're just going to clean up the inside of the barrel a little bit. Just to smooth out any imperfections that might be in there. I don't want to take too much off, so I'm not going to go a lot. But um, if on some barrels there is um, noticeable scoring down the length of the cylinder you might want to go a little longer just to try to smooth out that scoring as much as possible so I'll use some brake cleaner carb cleaner stuff to, to lubricate the hone tractor in the background gives you a general idea on running a, a light hone through there. That particular hone is called the bead hone or ball hone. And uh, all you want to do is just touch it up just a little bit. Once, uh, once I ran it the first time here I can see there's very very minute scoring in one spot which uh, later on I'll go back and run the hone a couple more times just to blend that in a little bit so the seals last as long as um, as possible so um, we will move over to the cylinder rod now and the piston wiper seal bushing so I'll set this one off to the side So the first thing that happens here on these cylinders, you have 
these two wear rings. They're spring loaded, kind of a nylon type thing here. Just pry up on it and then it'll come right off. And this next part is pretty important concerning this piston, the two-piece piston on this end and the one down on this end.